name is Marlene. How can I help you? Yes, hello. I need some uh, need some information, please. Yes, I think I'm trying my uh, best for you. That's as confidential, isn't it? It certainly is. Yes, the only time our confidentiality is broken is if we're afraid that you might be in you know in danger of harming yourself, others, or there's a threat of a, a crime being committed. Oh, okay. Right. Well, basically, what happened was in school today. Um, I was teaching a class of uh, youths, and this little boy kept calling me a moldy bastard. Right. And basically, what I did, I just got kind of angry, and I went over to him, and I grabbed him and I put him over the desk and I started smacking his bottom. Ah, right. And everyone was laughing, and he was screaming, telling me to get the fuck off him. The right. guy was just smacking his bum, but that's not really what the problem was. The problem was, is that after I uh, started smacking his bottom, I was all, I started to caress his bottom. All oh, right. And fondled him. Right. And I'm a little worried about that. Right, okay. Um, can I take some details off you, please? Could I have a name first? My name is George. Do you have a surname there, George? George Humphreys. And what school do you teach in? I teach at the St Andrews. And how old was the boy? He was 12. 12, is it? Okay. And what type of school is St Andrews? It's a special school for uh, retarded children. Right, okay. Are you in the union, George? Um, no, I'm not. All right, that could pose a bit of a problem then. It could. Has anybody said anything to you about what's happened yet? Has anybody come back to you, like the boy himself or his parents? Or... The boy, that's probably the thing that drove me to call here. Um, the boy uh, came to me later on in the day and he told me, he asked me to do it again. Right. He wanted me to bend him over my knee and smack his bottom. Right. And, and he wanted me to call him a dirty boy. All right, okay. <clears throat> Do you have a contact number, George, that I can find some information out and get back to you? Yes. Do you want to give me that number there? 016. 016? 3. Yeah. 6. Yeah. 9. Yes. Eight. Yes. Nine. Yeah. Two. Yeah. One. Lovely, thank you. I'll find oh. some information. What? Hello? Hello? I said I'll find some information out for you now and get back okay, to you. Okay, but that's the, the problem is I think the boy, the boy is a little bit, I think he's a bit fruity. I think he's become a bit of a homosexual. Right. And now he's asking me to smack him in the bottom. Right. And I'm a bit concerned. Right, okay. Um, have you have you been to anyone in the school to tell them this? Um, no, I have not. Right. I kind of kept it to myself. You know. uh, but the, 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 the reason I kept it to myself was because I did it. Right, okay. I bent him over my knee when I smacked his bottom. Right, okay. And I called him a dirty boy. And then he started fondling my crotch. Right. And stuff. And I, okay. was, I, was, I was getting highly aroused. Right, okay. When would be the best time to phone you back, George? Um, call me back next week. Next week, is it? Yes. Okay, any particular time? Um, no. Okay, no problem, sir. I'll find out what information I can and give you a ring back, it, it will not happen again, I assure you. Right, okay, then. I'm going to tell the headmaster about this on Monday. Right, okay. I think that would be a very good idea, actually. Yes, I will. I'll probably end up losing my job, but it's best that I tell them anyway. Right, okay, then. Okay, I'll give you a ring next week, then, George, and let you know what information I have for thank you, okay? Thank you very much, madam. You're welcome. What? Bye now. Okay, thank you. Bye.